Welcome to the Health Corps Classroom. My name is Sarah Frank and I'm a Health Corps Coordinator. I'm here today to walk you through the digestive system. Now you might be thinking, chewed up food makes me kind of queasy. But as eaters, we all should know what happens to the food we put in our mouth. So what I'm going to ask you to do is go into your kitchen and get four crackers. I want you, while we're going through this, to eat these crackers and try to chew them 50 times. Your mom, mother's probably told you to chew your food before you swallow. And as we'll find out, your digestive system will thank you if you do that. So take a minute and chow down. All right, I'd like to introduce to you the cast of characters who will be playing the various parts of your body in your digestive system. These are all things that you can find in your kitchen at home. First off, I'd like to introduce you. You're probably familiar with these crackers. They will be playing themselves in today's show. This Ziploc bag here will be playing your mouth and your stomach, double cast, in today's show. Water will be playing your saliva, they're very similar. This banana here will be playing your digestive enzymes. These are very important in our process. This stocking will be playing your small intestine. Your small intestine is not small at all. In fact, it's four times as long as you are tall. That's like almost 20 feet for those of you out there who struggle with math. Um, your large intestine will be played by this cup here, and this cup will also have a second roll as the last stop for your food before it goes into its next incarnation. So to start us out here, just a few seconds ago, you put four crackers into your mouth. So I'm gonna take these four crackers and put them into your mouth. And once you put the food in your mouth, you start chewing it up. And as you chew it, it starts to mix with your saliva. So we'll add a little saliva in here. You wanna make sure you chew with your mouth closed, it's polite. And chew this up, and you chewed those crackers 50 times. It wasn't easy to chew it 50 times, especially crackers. So we're gonna chew these up really well. And after you've chewed your food, you swallow it. So after you swallow your food, it travels down through your esophagus, and its next place that it goes is your stomach. So we're gonna imagine that the food in here traveled down your esophagus and into your stomach, and now this Ziploc bag is gonna be playing its second role as your stomach. Inside of your stomach you have enzymes that help your digestion. So they help break your food down further than it already was when you chewed it up. So we're gonna add in here some digestive enzymes. And what happens, you also have some, some fluids in your stomach. And what happens is that these all sort of churn together so they turn around in your stomach. So when you, if you don't chew your food too well, sometimes you can get a stomach ache because things aren't broken down as much as they need to be. But we're just gonna mix this all together and make sure that these enzymes are breaking down your food sufficiently. And from your stomach, your food is then gonna travel into your small intestine. Now, as I pointed out, the small intestine is not very small at all. So we're gonna have quite a path for your food to go. So your food is gonna just travel down into here. It's kinda gross. But this is happening in your body right now because of the four crackers that you are currently digesting. Perfect. So as your food travels through your very, very long small intestine, I like to call it the not so small intestine, what happens is that the nutrients get absorbed into your body. So you can see all this gook is running out of your small intestine. So I'm gonna move this food and the nutrients are coming out and the water is coming out. And when you take the nutrients out of a food, what's left behind? Waste. So as we near the end of this, we realize that what's left behind is waste. So I'm gonna make sure every, all the good stuff gets out of here. And then from your small intestine, your food is going to pass into your large intestine. Right here, your large intestine is basically 
a holding place for your food before it reaches its final destination, which you can probably imagine what that may be. So we're going to pass this food into your large intestine. And then from your large intestine, your food reaches its final destination, which hopefully is in a toilet. Now that we know how our food is moving through our digestive system, let's think about what we need to eat to make sure that we're keeping our system as healthy as possible. We like to think of the digestive system as a highway. Now you don't want to go too fast on this highway. You want to go at a nice steady pace. Foods that are going to speed you through the digestive highway include things that are high in sugar and refined carbohydrates. So for example, cookies, chips, soda, all of those things are going to race through your body, give you few nutrients and leave you hungry for more really soon. You want to choose foods that are slow and steady. You want to make sure that the foods that you eat are nutrient dense and packed with fiber. Foods such as whole grains, vegetables, leafy greens, and other things like that are going to leave you satisfied and full of nutrients. Remember, you're in the driver's seat and you can decide how fast your food's going to move through the digestive highway. Still hungry? Visit www.healthcore.org.